hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends in this video i will discuss uh, question number 8a from the model number 4 the following table shows the runs scored by the two batsmen can it be said that the performance of batsman a is more consistent than the performance of batsman b so use 1% level of significance at f0.01 at 1% level of significance it is given by 7.85 so we have to check whether the value f value is less than or greater than if it is less than that will be accepted okay hypothesis will be accepted if it is greater than obviously that is rejected over there whatever we have solved the problem so far we have seen how how it happens okay so here is the table for batsman number a batsman number b okay these are the runs which they have scored suppose you can assume that this is the rohit sharma this is the ishan kishan okay so they have scored this much so while writing the solution you should write down the given data uh, whatever the problems we have solved so far there were only one uh, given data over there only one table but in this particular uh, case here are two tables you can say that so i can write down it as number n1 is equal to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so let me call it here x let me call it here y okay so n2 1 2 3 4 5 so n2 is equal to 5 these are the five samples or five uh, scores which uh, the batsman b has scored over there so in order to calculate x bar mean x bar is equal to 1 by n1 summation of x so what is the number of n1 that is 8 okay summation of x means you have to sum up these terms 40 plus 50 plus 35 plus 25 plus 60 plus 70 plus 65 plus 55 okay you will get the x bar value as 1 by 8 multiplied by this much once you sum up you will get 400 so x bar is equal to 50 then y bar is equal to this much 1 divided by n2 so n2 value is 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 divided by 5 1 divided by 5 and sum up y term 60 plus 70 plus 40 plus 30 plus 50 you will get 250 so 250 divided by 5 you will get y bar as 50 over here okay so next now we have the formula s1 square as there are two uh, what we call s1 and s2 over here okay in the previous problems we are only calculating s value but in this case we have to calculate s1 and s2 value okay as two batsmen are there so s1 square it is a variance is equal to 1 divided by n1 minus 1 summation of xi minus x bar whole square this is the formula so 1 divided by n1 is 8 in the problem okay so 1 divided by 8 minus 1 is 1 divided by 7 then xi minus x bar so x value is here 40 and x bar we have calculated 50 so 40 minus 50 50 minus 50 35 minus 50 like that you have to take 40 minus 50 whole square 50 minus 50 whole square 35 minus 50 whole square likewise you have to calculate this much so calculation part is yours that is why i am just making it fast over here so s1 square is equal to 1 as you just sum up you will get 242.85 so s1 simply you will get 242.85 root okay which is equal to 15.8 5, this is your s1 value similarly s2 square is equal to 1 divided by n2 minus 1 so what is the n2 value 5 so 1 divided by 5 minus 1 is 1 divided by 4 y minus y bar so y values are here and y bar we have calculated 50 so here is 60 minus 50 70 minus 50 like that so 60 minus 50 whole square 70 minus 50 whole square 40 minus 50 whole square right so you will get s square is equal to 250 s2 is equal to root of 250 and s2 is equal to 15.81 now in the formula we need s value okay so s value is given s1 plus s2 divided by 2 so s is equal to 15.58 plus 15.81 divided by 2 you will get s value as 15.6 so t value is given x bar minus y bar divided by s under root of 1 divided by n1 plus 1 divided by n2 so t is equal to what is the x bar value 50 okay and y bar is 50 so 50 minus 50 divided by s value is 15.6 under root of 1 divided by 8 plus 1 by 5 this is n1 and n2 value so t you are getting 0 so since t is equal to 0 is less than t at 1 percent level of significance that is in the question 7.85 see here it is uh, 7.85 so 0 is very less than over here than the 7.85 so over hypothesis is accepted in this case if you take also f ratio you have to take f is equal to s1 square divided by s2 square okay so we have already calculated s1 square in the above stuff see here 242.85 so 242.85 divided by s2 square we have calculated 15.81 okay 15.81 you will get the value approximately 0 0.96 that is also less than the given value 
see here 7.85 is the given value so 0 0.96 is also less than this value so i can say that our hypothesis is accepted if you are getting less than the given value that means hypothesis will be accepted if we are getting greater than the given value our hypothesis will be rejected so this is all about this particular problem i hope you have understood this very well